All right, so we're back on the little Honda, which has just turned 256,000 miles. So I've put about 32,000 miles on it so far, and uh, everything's going great. However, let's see. If you can hear that. Nope, the difference? I got a wheel bearing going bad. Finally, after 256,000 miles. Just this one, though. So, what I'm going to do is uh, pull this apart, get that bearing hub an assembly off and take it to the parts store with me because I tried to change this eh, I don't know eight nine months ago because I thought it sounded bad about the time I put these tires on it and I ordered the parts from Rock Auto because they're not cheap and I got good you know high-end parts from Rock Auto but they didn't fit the hub the bolt pattern into the back plate was wrong which was strange so, now that I'm going to do this one, I want to take it to uh, the store with me so that I can confirm that the thing's going to fit when I buy it. You know, Rock Auto was no problem. They returned them. Uh, it's just aggravating. Fairly, it's fairly simple to get this apart. So, first thing we've got to do, pop the wheel off. So, that's what we're going to do now. All right, got the old 19. Well, tire shop put those on. A fully charged 12 amp hour battery. Oh. These weren't coming off. My God. Okay, well, that's unnecessary. Okay, now. Brakes look good. Super simple. They're just back here somewhere. Uh, where? Okay, yeah, four bolts in there, and they're not square. The pattern is not square. So, yeah, all right, here, these guys. And then the on the other side. So we just got to pop those off, and that hub falls out. This is super simple. Doesn't I mean it doesn't feel bad, but it's making noise that's really annoying. And if you turn it to the right so it lifts up this side of the car, the noise goes away. So it's definitely this bearing. But uh, yeah. So we're gonna go see. Get those bolts off, they look like they're maybe 13s. We'll go get something to pop those off and see what we got. Alright, well they're actually 14s. And this ratchet wrench maybe. I don't think I can get, well, maybe I can get this one. Nope. Might be able to get them with a regular, regular depth socket. Uh, let's try that again. Bound 
it up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Well, now we're stuck. That's fantastic. Give me a minute. Okay, well that thing is stuck. So... There. What the hell has happened here? No way. That one jam up actually broke this thing. The head's not working anymore. Well, I guess that's why you don't buy cheap tools. Should have stuck with Milwaukee. In any case, that's the offending article. And see how those bolts are not, the bolt holes are not square. And so, we're going to run that to the parts store. See if we can get another one. And then I'm going to have to warranty this stupid thing. I like that thing too. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, look at that. It just broke it. She's not a ratcheting. That's uh, disappointing. Anyway, uh, okay, so parts store, here we come. Ah, uh, the perils of owning a freak car. Um, these are apparently specific to the hybrids and the natural gas versions. And nobody has one in stock. I mean, nobody. Uh, the best I can do is tomorrow. So, I ordered some aftermarket garbage from uh, O'Reilly because they're the only ones who can get it tomorrow. And so, we are thwarted for today, but I still feel like fixing stuff, so I got another idea. <laughs> <clears throat> and so we're going to put this back together, and then take a drive, and see if I can grab something else to fix. So, we'll be back when I get to that. Alright, so what we're going to try to do today is change out this jack on my trailer. It's uh, not rated for what I'm using it for anymore. It's 35 years old almost. It's bent. It's been abused. And it's really hard to work. So, I gotta figure out how to get that thing out. Which should be interesting because there's not much of a hole under there to get it through. And I don't really see... Oh, that one's... A little loose. <laughs> I don't really see how this comes apart. I've got it all the way down and now the handle gets stuck. So I may just cut it off, but it seems weird that they would have installed it trapped, but I guess what they probably did is it goes all the way down through and that foot <laughs> that was welded on after the fact, I'll bet. That little piece of angle. That was welded on after the fact. That's probably what they did. So I'm going to go get, I guess this is a 9 16 We'll go get that, bust this off, and see what we got. And of course, I dropped one of the damn nuts, and it disappeared into Never Never Land. Uh, I even saw... A the direction it went, and I still don't know where the hell it is. So whatever, I'm sure I got a 3816 lock nut somewhere. But yeah, it looks like they put this thing in and then welded that on the bottom. So we're going to 
get a saw and hack that off, get this out of here, and go get something a little bit more interesting and more befitting this trailer. Yay, and maybe another lock nut. Alright, well, I got this thing for 180 bucks at the pawn shop, and I haven't used it much. pretty good deal. Those are not cheap and that thing is perfect. Barely used. So all right now that that's off let's go get another one. Well at least Harbor Freight had something in stock. Let's see if we can figure out how to open this Chinese nightmare. I don't know. Should have got the chainsaw. One medieval on it. She fits through the same holes. If not, it's going to be a little fun carving them out. But uh, we'll see. In this case, we'll just grind it. Since I got a battery on this thing now. We can go electric. easier than before. I'm hoping I can put this thing sideways. Ooh, just squeaks. Uh-oh. Oh, there she goes. Figures the holes only line up that way. Damn it. Ah. I gotta see. I don't think that's gonna allow my trail my tailgate to open. Which I don't really want. So I'm gonna go get my keys, unlock the truck, and see what I can do. Alright, at that height, it barely clears. <laughs> like by a piece of paper. So, let's see what it does at that height. And that's what I was afraid of. Okay. So, I gotta figure out... How to turn this thing. Okay, I can get... Two bolts in that way. I think that's what I'm gonna do, is... Bolt her in this way and modify right here to open that hole up so we can do this. So let's get some bolts in that thing and see what we got. 
little judicious application of a drill and a uh, jigsaw and a hammer and a screwdriver and I think I've got enough clearance now to get a bolt in there. So we're going to try to bolt that thing back up. The uh, bolts that came with it are too short so I am having to reuse the old ones. So we're going to go from there. All right, that's in. Plenty of clearance. Let's get this on. All right, now just got to wire it up which shouldn't be too bad. We just got two connections, black and white. I think what I'm gonna do is kinda run it along with the um, trailer plug back over to there. Hopefully we got enough and uh, get her wired up. All right, there it is. Let's see if we can drop this down. There we go. And see what we got here. Black positive, white negative. See how high she can lift the truck. Not bad. And down. It's a little slow, but it's a lot easier than that damn crank has become. There she goes. Very nice. Yeah, it's a little slow, but that's going to be a lot easier since I already got a battery on it for the winch. That's going to be a lot nicer than that, that crank, which has gotten, I mean, damn near 35 years out of it. So I think it was about time. And stop. Perfect. Perfect. I like it. So, that's it. Not much to it. Like I said most people would be able to turn that around and face the other way, but I want to be able to open my tailgate. So, we turned it. Not quite 120 degrees because the bolt pattern is not quite the same. I'm sure that will make no difference given what it's used for. But that should do it. So now, we're ready to rock and roll again. So, hope you're all having a good day. <laughs> we'll be back in that stupid Honda uh, when the park comes in. Talk to y'all later. Bye. All right, well, here we are again. Hopefully, this time with the right part. Took quite a few days to get it. Because, apparently, the hybrid and the CNG...
are the only ones with drums, so they don't, not too many people stock these things. Looks correct. Let's see if we can get the bolts to line up. I'll put the most annoying one in first. That, uh, hang that guy. That one started. Yeah, got that one. I think we might have a winner. Yep, all of them are in. Nicely, this stuff isn't terribly corroded, so you can kind of get the bolts just about all the way in by hand. And then snug them up to factory specs with a 14 millimeter. Let's see if I can hit myself in the face with this wrench. Click. Click. Mmm, silent. Nice. Let's see if it's the right bolt pattern. That would suck. And it is. So that's good. Get this guy back on. Super simple to change, just kind of hard to find the right part because of, it's kind of a freak car. And done. So the saga of the wheel bearing is finally over. And it is, it's literally a 14 millimeter wrench to change that bearing and it takes minutes. It's longer to get the thing, get the tire thing up in the air and ready to go. So, all right, now that that's finally done, maybe we can get on to some other interesting things. Anyway, that'll do it for now. Hope you're all having a good day. Take care.